Mark Savage here and you meet me now in my workshop halfway through it. Right, do you remember the video I did a while ago on the Mark 1 and Mark 2 ignition? Before buying one of these, which the last owner did, check the wiring, okay? Completely different than what's on here now. On here, red, black, brown, black. The one he brought, red, red, so it wasn't right. This one will be a non-injection. Now, it will never work, and in my last video I showed you that the pins go across here, and as you turn the key, they touch the wires. On this one, they're not the same way, they're at a 30 degree angle different, so you're never gonna get your injection working, the bike will turn over, lights will work, but it'll never start, you've got no spark. This, although I don't throw nothing away, as you know, always worth keeping, because I might get another Mark 1 in one day. So would you believe it's the 13th of October, 2018, and it's 23 degrees outside. I'm sweating, it was 18 degrees last night. Ready for the crash for the weather. Anyway, if you watched the other part of this, you'll notice it was TLC, headlight, didn't know what to do. I think putting a round headlight on here would make you look, well, like a Mark 1 or Mark 2. And this was one I kept before, so I'm not gonna do it. Instead, it's not bad, is it? Still a tiny little mark here, and I've had to bond the inside crack. Other than that, this just saved me 80 pounds just by rubbing it and spraying it black. And it matches the rest of the bike if you look. Well, that'll go like that, and it will match the black on the tank and the red on the front. Thumbs up there. As for the headlight, I was gonna get another headlight, 38 pound, I thought I can get a slightly damaged one, but it was still all right, it just had some heat glue here. Well, it doesn't look bad, does it? Tiny little mark here, but all in, I'm sticking with that. So, another 40 pound saving. Nothing you can do with that, except chuck it away. I've had to pay 40 pound for one of them, which again, wasn't that bad, because some people are asking 60 pound for them. All together, that will make it look very much nicer. Is that a word? Hmm. Anyway, look at the rest of the stuff. These were horrible. I've just blown them over and I'm not happy, so I'm gonna do them again. Oh, that side turned out nice. Now they're black, much better. They're blown over black. These are plastic, so they come up really well. But exhaust itself, I've only blown it over in a mat. Because once you start it up, it will change color anyway. And as for this, I'm actually gonna use a little trick I've seen on the internet and I've used before. What is that trick I hear you ask, Marky? I've done this before, no participation whatsoever. This is brilliant. Get a paintbrush, push it on the rusty exhaust, leave it three or four minutes, wash it off. It's, it really does make a better job of it rather than me trying to paint over it. it takes the rusty colour away, makes it look not half bad. So, one pound from your superstore rather than some of this very expensive other stuff. This is brilliant on the rust. And it's gone. Rub these down. I'm gonna put some chrome polish on them, make them look nice. What do I say about the battery every single time? Done. You know, stick on charge. Airbox, just took that off, it's only five screws, once you get the cover off, and actually it's really clean, I just blew it out, really good, happy with it. We'll give it an oil change though, and I'm going to buy a spark plug. So no, it's not a cup of tea, although I had one, this is hot water, and this is a tube, I never throw nothing away. A little bit of grease on this, you can't leave it like that. Heat these up a little bit, a little bit of grease, now it is really, really a finicky job, I can't do it with one end, but I'm going to squeeze that on there, cut it off, and these that look black rubber on there, much, much better. These must be brand new, they're very clean. Knowing this bike's had a bit of accident damage, that looks new. So someone's changed them, along with these as well. Saved me a job, didn't it? I know he had a little play with this bike because I found, I found this dangling underneath. And I said, I know what he'd done. I mentioned it to him as well. I said, there's Mark 1, Mark 2. Yes, he went. So I know he bought a Mark 1. Um, you have to buy OME or OME standard. And that's not to say the one I've bought for 60 quid, because I paid full money for it, because I've had so much messing around, will be the right one. Although I'll bloody complain if it isn't. Believe you me. Anyway, let's get on with this. And when you next see it, it should be outside, all together looking, well, yummy.
squirt. Tub. I've also used this on wheels. And do you know what? It actually cleans them a lot, lot faster than ordinary washing up liquid. Just pop it round, nice and easy. Turn it the other way. And this doesn't half get off some of the road salt marks that are on tyres. Kawasaki's are really notorious for this, where they don't work very well. You're never going to damage paintwork with this. So just be a little bit liberal, pop it on like that. Remember to do both sides. Without very much effort at all, this will come up very nice. Well, it's never going to come up great on this rusty one, is it? But believe you me, I've done this on my big bikes when they get that tinge in colour and this really does take off a lot of the rust. Wash it off properly, will smell when you first start the bike, don't worry. This now is really clear and that would have been a bad exhaust, it's been fine. That's a little bit too far gone. But still, wheels come up really well. Steaming a little bit. Didn't come up too bad, did it? And the clocks. All working very nicely. What do you think? I sprayed it black. The headlight, well it just ended up a little mark there. New screen. There was no damage this side anyway. It's red there, black here, red, black, and so on. I don't think it looks too bad. What do you reckon? I didn't go for the round headlight because it meant changing the fitments as well. And to be honest with you, it worked out more money than the fact that I just sprayed that and bought a new one of them. The ignition, top tip. Always take the old one off, have a look first before buying another one. Unlike the last owner, unfortunately he didn't do that and got a non injection one which need an injection one for this and I was still hesitant because the some say all different years check the wiring this was red black brown black with a stripe on it and that's what I bought a bit more money you get two keys and they have Yamaha on them OME worth the extra money that does ignition the petrol cap and a little lock around the side here and now what you get is a nice starting and stopping bike. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for staying with me for part two. Like, share, subscribe, keep watching them. Next I've got to do is a three times three challenge from Remy on Wheels in America. Love you. Thank you for nominating me. That video will be coming up next. I'm going to do a vlog and three things you didn't know about me, whether you wanted to know or not. Take care of yourselves.